Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I thought we would kick off the festivities with a nice long vlog. So I'm going to vlog a few of the next few days and just take you around with me. If I'm doing anything festive or exciting, I'll do a bit of everything vloggy vlog. So we're starting off in a very fancy hotel and we're just off Green Park. You may remember in a recent vlog I explained to you that I like getting off at Green Park tube station. It's probably my favourite tube station in the centre of London to get off at because I find it really convenient. And I am at a hotel which is just down the road from that. I'm here for the evening. I've been invited here by Red Letter Days to experience the hotel. It's also got a spa and I think we're going to have a nice meal this evening. So I'm going to be in for a real treat so I thought I would bring you along for that and we'll just have a very nice relaxed time in the hotel and then tomorrow morning we can go for a little wander around the park hopefully the weather will be nice and have a little look around the area here I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel in London this central before so I'm very excited the thought of waking up in central London is very very exciting yeah I've just walked in I'm gonna take my coat off because I'm rather warm now it's that time of year isn't it where it's got freezing outside it's about well it's about two degrees outside so you wrap up warm and then you get on the old public transport and then whew, sweat situation <laughs> so I'm gonna whip off my coat and then I'll show you the room as you come in there are some hooks here and there's a umbrella to use if you want to buy it, it's 15 pounds so I'm gonna hang up my coat there's actually a dressing gown here from Red Letter Days. They've popped my name on it, which is a very cute touch, and some slippers down there. So I'm going to hang my coat up, and then I'll show you around the bedroom. So this is the room itself, and as you come in, we have a little mini bar here. Well, I'm presuming that's what it is. Oh, the safe's in there too. Now, you know that I like a good safe. As When I say a good safe, I mean one that's big enough to fit a laptop. <laughs> I haven't got my laptop with me, but it always makes me feel a lot happy when I'm away if the safe fits a laptop and this is a very generously stocked mini bar you could have some fun in there and so could your credit card <laughs> and then we've got a little coffee station here so we've got a kettle a little nespresso machine and some coffees that's lovely isn't it it's always nice to have a coffee in a hotel and this beautiful little setup look at these glasses i love that amber color and it says stay individual on the cups which were created exclusively for the hotel by William Edwards, in case you're wondering. They're very nice mugs. Kate McKay would love those. And then we've got this beautiful crystal lamp up there. And then going round into the main room, bed looks lovely. And they've left me a little water bottle here, which is very kind. And there's some water, which I love to see in a hotel room. Honestly, the amount of hotels I've checked into where I found it really difficult to get a glass of water. You may have seen that in previous vlogs, in the USA vlogs, I think I was talking about that a little bit, but yeah, seeing water just makes me very happy because I get thirsty. <laughs> Don't most people? I feel like, anyway, I won't start bending your ear off about the water situation, but there's water here, so I'm very pleased to see that. And there's some chocolates on the bed, which is a lovely touch. And then there's this little cute teddy bear that is one of the hotel bears and he's probably available to buy, I should imagine. If you'd like to take me home, contact reception. <laughs> and then we have a nice little side table. Oh, and then we have some buttons by the bed. What does sleep mean? Let's give it a go. Oh, how about that? So all the lighting's just dimmed. Very nice. And bath. That's probably just the bathroom light. Yeah, the bathroom light going off. <laughs> Very technical. Sort of thing that confuses me though. Coving, ceiling, okay. Back on, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. And here, this is such a lovely touch. There is this beautiful, absolutely stunning bouquet of red roses that's been left here from Red Letter Days. And then here, we have the breakfast menu. So the hotel does breakfast in bed, so they said, to circle what I want and make sure that it's hung on the door before 1am and we'll have some fun going through that. Tell you what, hotel breakfast, I am a happy man, <laughs> you cannot beat it. And then we have this little welcome pack which I shall open in a minute and I just dumped my suitcase down there and then we have a desk over here. This was my invitation that arrived and in here it has the hotel name and address. What a cool desk as well and it's got little spaces here where you could slide your laptop in. So I might get up to, oh, I haven't got my laptop. I was going to say otherwise I'll get up tomorrow, get my laptop out and feel like an absolute boss sitting there. <laughs> and then we have the sliding wardrobe with some beautiful robes in there, hair dryer, 
always pleased to see that and plenty of hangers another good thing that I like to see in a hotel and then the ironing board this side and the iron so yeah let's have a look outside see what we can see oh I can't get the window open further than that oh my goodness I think just down there I think that's Green Park across the road there and then you've got the gorgeous red buildings over here look at these rooftop apartments can you imagine living in one of those <gasps> wow they must have a great view, you know, from that side window. I'm going to open up this and see what the itinerary is for this evening, just in case I'm meant to be somewhere. And then we'll work out a little plan. So it says, Dear Ewan, welcome to the Red Letter Days Christmas Extravaganza. Cocktails and canapes at 6pm, followed by a festive three-course dinner, drinks and entertainment. Tomorrow breakfast will be delivered to your room at 9am. Ring down to make your choices. Head down to the spa at 12.15pm, where you'll be pampered with a relaxing drift away massage. Well, that sounds absolutely delightful. So yeah, I'm going to get unpacked now. I might get changed as well. I'm not sure whether to keep this on or not. Although, you know when you get dressed? Does anyone else do this? I feel like it's a waste of an outfit if you get changed again. I might try the other thing tomorrow, because I'm in this now. <laughs> I don't think I could be bothered. What do you think? Is this civilised enough to go for dinner in? But anyway, I've got lots of exciting things for us to look forward to this week. I'm going to be meeting up with Hermione and Luke. We're going to be doing some wreath making and some thrifting, and I'm going gin tasting. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're sitting comfortably, because we're in for a long vlog. Right, let's get unpacked. So I actually haven't packed very much at all. I've got a jacket that I can sling over my jumper or my shirt. This is the shirt that I've packed, um, potentially for later on. I've got some underwear. I've got a couple of pairs of swimming trunks just because I wasn't sure if these ones fit me. <laughs> so I've got a spare pair. And then I've got um, just some toiletries. So I've got my wash bag, a bit of slap in there. I've got fake tan and just randomly threw in my contact lens solution and some hairspray along with my phone charger and my hair straighteners. And that's it. Right, I'm going to make a little coffee before I get ready and go and say hello to everybody because I don't know about anybody else, but it gets to about 4 pm at the moment, and yeah, I feel like I'm ready for bed. <laughs> so I think a coffee is needed before dinner. Look at this for a cute little milk bottle put the shirt on in the end so I've gone for this which is a good year or so old I think this one was from yeah River Island and then I've also got these trousers that were from next my shoes are Fairfax and Favour these are kind of like blue suede blue suede shoes <laughs> all the bits I'm wearing are from previous collaborations and they're all yeah all over a year old lots of wear out of all of these especially these trousers actually I've worn these loads they've got like a really fine little check on them and they just seem to go with loads of stuff because there's like a tiny bit of red in there which works quite nicely with like brown things and anyway i'm actually late i don't know why i'm bending you off about the colors in my check so i'm going to head down i'm probably going to do a bit of a montage of the evening because i'll be talking to people it'll probably be quite noisy and that sort of thing so yeah i'll just do a bit of a montage and yeah i look forward to having a good look around with you tomorrow i just remembered i need to do my breakfast choices it says you can choose two lighter dishes one cooked breakfast juice or smoothie tea or coffee oh my goodness Happy days. <laughs> right, lighter choices. Right, what should we go for? Mixed fruit salad. We'll go for that. Get our five a day or some of it. And then I'm thinking, let's go for porridge. No. Let's go for pastries. And I've gone for a full English with boiled eggs, cooked medium. <laughs> and. That's it, I think. Yeah, no sides. And I've just popped this jacket on as well. This was from the charity shop. It's TM Lewin. It's making the collar go a bit weird, which is annoying. Never mind. <laughs> and we've got a nice weird stain on the elbow, which I don't know what that is. I think it might be building dust where I scraped the wall. So it's like slightly white. Anyway, no one will notice that, hopefully. So let's go down for dinner. For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I will be home for a couple of days Wonder around with you You love it, it lights up the sky You got me believing in everything 
just like that, I am back in the room. I've got my beard dye on. Fred little bib with the tissues, just because I don't want to drop any beard dye on the bathrobe. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, I've got up bright and early and I wanted to have a little look around while it was nice and quiet, so it's actually still dark. Thought we'd go and have a little look up around Green Park area and just see what it's like at this time in the morning because I don't think I've ever been in town quite this early, so I thought as we were here we would take advantage of it and have a little look. interesting thing that I've just spotted. This is a porter's rest and it says it was erected in 1861 for the benefit of porters and others carrying burdens. So there we are. <laughs> you can pause the screen if you want to read it in full. And that across there it's the hotel and it has a living plant wall down the side of it. And I've just noticed at the front here we have an old penny farthing. Imagine riding around on that. <laughs> wow, it's actually nearly as tall as me. So I'm back at the hotel now. I've got back into my dressing gown because in a little bit breakfast will be arriving and then later on I'm going to be going down to the spa for a massage so I'm just having the best morning ever and the meal last night was wonderful it was quite a small group of us which was really nice this is their Merry Christmas box which you can order and then send somebody it's great because it goes straight to the letterbox and in here you can choose from 2625 experiences so it includes Delicious dining for one or two people, new adventures for one or two people, fun days out for one or two people, and pamper treats for one or two people. So what I thought I would do is give this away to one of you. So if you want to win this, just make sure you're following me on both of my Instagram accounts, Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home, and then drop me a DM, so direct message me on my Mr. Carrington account, and just let me know if you would like this, so just say red letter days or something like that in my DMs. And I'll pick one of you next week and post it out to you. And yeah, you can enjoy one of these experiences. There's loads of stuff to choose from. So that would make a great gift um, if you're looking for a last minute one too. I think you can do like a digital voucher version of that too. So yeah, if you're looking for something experience based as a present, that could be a good option for you. There's a few bits in here. They gave me some Whittard Teas Luxury Hot Chocolate selections. It's got hot chocolate, white hot chocolate, and 70% cocoa hot chocolate. So I'm good for hot chocolate <laughs> for Christmas time. And then we have this Cake or Death. Ooh, wow, that sounds very nice there's a little card in here it says i really hope you enjoy our christmas brownies we are a small bakery sending out vegan brownies all over the uk and you can share the code red letter 15 for 15 percent off our brownies online so yeah if you fancy getting some of these brownies they are cakeordeath.co.uk and yeah you can use the code red letter 15 for 15 percent off let's have a little look at these this smells so good oh. Take a look at that. Wouldn't that make the most wonderful gift? And another great one that fits through the letterbox as well. So no missing parcels. Isn't missing a parcel the worst thing ever? <laughs> have you ever done that where you have to go down to the post office and collect? That is one thing I really don't enjoy doing. And the worst is when you've been at home and you miss a parcel because you don't hear the door or they're too quick. <laughs> yeah. 
not a vibe, especially at this time of year when the queues are so long. We also have some playing cards and this beautiful Christmas card as well. These are from a company called Rendale Designs. Yeah, what a lovely selection of gifts. And don't forget if you want to win this, to just follow me over on Instagram, Mr. Carrington, Mr. Carrington Home, and drop me that little DM. Yeah, I'll choose one of you to send that to by the end of next week. Right, I think breakfast should be arriving in a minute. That was lovely. I had such a relaxing time down in the spa. A really nice massage. I actually fell asleep during it. So yeah, I think I was very relaxed. And I've just got back to the room. I've just got changed. I've just put on the jumper that I was wearing yesterday and put the shirt over the top, which I thought looked quite nice. And I've gone for some red socks. We're feeling very festive down there. So it's time for me to pack up and get checked out. Bye, Teddy. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile, my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three Good morning, it is the 1st of December, woohoo, and look who's here. Happy, happy, happy Christmas, happy Christmas. <laughs> Yay, happy December, happy Christmas, happy wreath making, which is what we're about to get started with. Um, so this morning we are going to be, oh this is Hermione by the way, I should have said. Hi. <laughs> you know Hermione already. So me and Hermione this morning are going to be doing a wreath making workshop with Waitrose. They've sent over everything we need and also a few nice naughty little snacks <laughs> and yeah we're going to be doing a zoom workshop um, with them this morning to make some wreaths so it's actually starting in one minute classic us isn't it <laughs> so we better put the camera down get the zoom on and we'll start making our wreaths So what he said to do is to make some little bundles or parcels like this and then you just pop it on the wreath like this and then wrap the string around to hold it in place. So it's really simple this technique, I've never done it like that before but yeah I love it. I just have to pull it around a couple of times like this, nice and tight. And keep going. We're all done. This is the wreath all finished and Hermione's, oh it's looking so good. Wow. It's a little less fluffy. Oh, I think it's more fluffy in a way. It's got, well it's got these things, yeah. Yeah, yeah they come out so nicely. Yeah, love that. I think I'm gonna hang mine up on this ladder. I might move this 
back over here. Oh, I don't think I've introduced you to this guy on the vlog yet. This is Mr. Carriton, and Aldi sent this to me. So they made a version of Kevin the Carrot. If you're in the UK, you will have seen the adverts. Or for anyone not in the UK, I think if you looked up Kevin the Carrot Aldi, you would see the advert probably. And they made a little Mr. Carrington version, and he's even got my jacket on that I wear in my profile picture. I think it's on my profile picture on YouTube. How cool is he? And then it sent them to me and Steph at Steph's Pet Lunch and they made Steph as well and they made Steph into an onion. So it was Steph McOnion. <laughs> but yeah, I love him. So he is gonna hang out with the Naughty Elf this year. So now we're going to head off and go to some of the local charity shops and see if we can find any nice Christmas bits. Is it Christmas bits you're after or anything else? Is there anything else yeah. to keep my eye out for? Yeah. Christmassy stuff as well, yeah. I think this is a good time of year, isn't it, to get like, Christmas stuff because a lot of the charity shops put out the Christmas bits at this time of year. So haven't yeah. seen any yet. Oh, I've not. So oh, I've today. seen some. Actually, while I've got you here, Hermione, yeah. I want to ask you about the space. <laughs> Let's put the camera over here. Okay. Okay. I put it here. Hopefully, the shelf won't fall over. Oh, we did this last time, didn't we? Yeah. Right. What are we thinking? I, I need to love get your it. thoughts. I don't um, know if it's. You're like the like... first guest up here. Really? <laughs> yeah. I feel honoured. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it translates as well on camera, but it's so nice and bright. Yes. It's so nice. The light's nice. good, isn't it? And the windows. Yeah, so nice. that's my favourite bit. Yeah. What do you think about the desk, where I've got the desk, the desk is here, by the way. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? I like it because I like how you've got your filming space here, which you've got natural light for, but then you can yeah. also set up your artificial lights here. Yeah. I like the desk because it's close to the window. Yeah, that's what I thought, because it's, because I, I can just look great. that way. Yeah. I'm glad you approve. I do. But what about this area? So this area we were saying earlier, maybe to put the mirror in the alcove and then yeah. the little um, stand next to it, or maybe by the yeah. Um but yeah, yeah, I could get a smaller mirror for here, couldn't I? Because that bit slopes, you see. Oh, does it? Oh, but it does slope, Yeah, slope, but it? I could get a smaller mirror at the top part, maybe. Yeah. Or but then you've that. got your... Um, you need to take your yeah. outfits with a plain background. <laughs> oh, I know. That's it. The thing is, it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes with a mirror, you just want a plain background behind it, don't you? Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. So we can do cheeky outfit photos. <laughs> <laughs> I have to think of the old gram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what about the toilet? What do you think? I love it. I think it looks really good. What about, um, do you think we should do a colour in there or something? Or? That'd be cool. Yeah, when you say dark? Yeah, maybe. I love the colour in your other bathroom. Oh yeah, the dark grey. Yeah. I'm just thinking because it's small, it's somewhere you can get away with it maybe. Yeah. Or I what did do you a... think about doing this section of colour? Oh. Just like the door and the, that bit. Yeah, because when you're filming, you can have it. Yeah. But then you've got to think about the like exposure on the camera. Oh, yeah. So if it's dark. Oh yeah. Unless you do like a grey or something. I like the grey in your kitchen where you like... Oh yeah, the concrete. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's, get, it's good to get someone else's... Thought, especially for my knees. <laughs> I love it, it's so nice. It looks really, really good. You know that I'm going to end up rearranging the photo a million times in this space, don't you? That's exactly what I like to do. <laughs> yeah. Can you hang in? Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's not It's not um, a YouTuber's place unless you move furniture. That's it. Times. Yeah, that's the rules. At least yeah. four times a year. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go to the charity yeah. shops. <laughs>
we've just had a look around all the charity shops in Camberwell and we've come to a place called Lumberjack, Jack which is like a coffee shop and they do some lovely cakes and we've got a bite to eat. I've gone for a little avocado vegan sandwich. That looks nice. What have you got? It's a with all kinds of things in it and brie and everything. Oh, it's really good. And a salad. Yeah, nice. Yeah, a little coffee as well. So yeah, we're just having a little fuel pit stop. Or maybe might hit a couple of the charity shops in Peckham, we'll see. Oh, we have just got back and just in the nick of time because look at the weather. Ooh, did well, didn't we? We did, and we were very restrained. We only got a couple of bits. Yeah, I think we got two or three items each. So I'll show you um, what I picked up in a little bit. I'm going to take my coat Aww. off. Yeah, Hermione's going to head home now. You've got some editing to do. Got some editing to do. Exciting time. I'll link Hermione's channel in the description box down below. So make sure you head over there and subscribe if you haven't done already. And. Hermione's vlog from today. If it's not up already, I'll link it as soon as it goes live as well. So that'll be coming soon. More thrifting. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just got back. I just walked Hermione down to the station. It was so lovely to spend the morning with her. We had such a good time. It was nice to have a proper catch up and hit the charity shops, of course. I'm so pleased with how my roof is looking as well. So I went for the technique, which was to make lots of the little bunches or what do they call them? little parcels I think the chap was calling them and then yeah just to keep adding one winding the string around adding one winding the string around same piece of string just keeping it nice and tight until you get to where you started and then at the end I poked in all the twigs and poked in these pine cones which were already pre-attached to some twigs and then added this little sprig just a bit random but yeah overall I'm really pleased with how it's looking so yeah that it's kind of how the backdrop is looking now, for now, <laughs> for my Christmas videos. And I've just put the filming lamps on. I'm about to sit down and film one of those videos, which will be coming very soon. So make sure you do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And pop the notification bell on too, and then you won't miss any videos as I upload. Because we know what December's like. I'm all over the shop. You're probably all over the shop. We're all all over the shop. So hopefully I'll catch you at some point, um, especially if you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So let's just show you what I picked up at the charity shops. Just got two things in the end. The first thing being these salt and pepper pots, which are Le Creuset's salt and pepper pots in this beautiful, I would call that like an egg, duck egg blue, would you? <laughs> and these were from Crisis and these were four pounds for the pair and they're the sort of shaker style ones. So I was very pleased with those. And then I also just got this shirt. And this is a size large Boohoo shirt or Boohoo man. And I really like the um, check of this and it's got some little details with the buttons there. So I think you can roll the sleeves up and attach that there if you wanted to. And yeah, just nice size large. And I thought for this time of year as well, a little bit festive, but not out there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, very pleased with my purchases at the charity shops. So now I'm going to crack on and film this video. And then in a bit, we're off to meet Luke and we're going to go gin tasting. So I will catch up with you then. So I've made it to Chiswick. Here's Luke. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing up my umbrella. Oh yeah, it has been raining, but it's just stopped. So we've got our umbrellas down and we're just walking along huh? to the Sipsmith um, Distillery, oh, yes. where we're going to be having an evening of a cocktail masterclass, I think it is, and maybe yes. some, well, gin tasting will be involved. I think it'd be rude if it wasn't, don't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we thought that'd be fun. So yeah, we'll go and see what it's all about. Here we are. We're just on time. 
literally one minute early. Should we end the tree buzz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the mood. That's how we're going to look at the yes. end of the evening, isn't it? Are we there? Hey! There we go. I've just been so I did in tonic. <laughs> Cheers, everyone! Cheers, Merry Christmas. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Mm. Oh. oh, I'll take the spot. Do you know Good gin. Very good delicious. Gin. Mm. Mm. Gin, 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 gin. Oh, yeah. Let the evening be gin. <laughs> We're having a wet one. Yeah. So, yeah. Dirty. so yeah, we're dirty you then have. It might be a dirty oh, and a wet one. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's getting very festive. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting some inspiration for our cocktails yeah. video, which will be coming very soon. They just gone up Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yes. soon after this. What do you guys think of your martinis? Happy with them? I'm going to go for the tears. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. very nice. That's, that's always my oh. idea. That's like very smooth, smooth and it doesn't taste too strong yeah, at all. We stirred it quite a long time in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying to you, usually if I have like one martini, yeah. that would be enough for me because they're quite punchy. But that's yeah. 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 Cheers. 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 dangerous because they taste so. <laughs> it's like a bunch of the Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. Very, very lovely. Oh, I feel very warm and merry now. I've got the gin eyes. Yeah. We have the gin eyes. <laughs> yeah, we got all the gin inspiration for our cocktail. Oh, that was good. Plus, yeah, yeah. The Shipsmith people are fantastic, but they find a way to slip gin in every word <laughs> imaginable. So, gin, gin, what was he called? He, um, he was a gin taster, but he had a specific name. They have, they have a gin terrier designer. Gin, uh, gin, a gin instigator, which makes all of the decisions as an instigator. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> You're very good. Hang on. I did show you that. <laughs> I think we just better call it a night. We should call it a night. <laughs>